All right. Today, uh, I just want to give a brief discussion uh, on transfer pricing. So I will do it uh, in form of a question. So as you can see from the screen, we have this question is saying, uh, first mark uh, limited operates two divisions of deco and revo. Deco division manufactures two products, truck and fit. Um, truck is sold to external market for 84 per unit. Fit, which is partially completed, is sold to Reco uh, uh, a division only. Okay. Uh, then Record division can obtain partly completed fit product from the external market as well as uh, from uh, deco division. The price of the partly completed fit product on the external market is 75 per unit. Deco division is able to manufacture truck and fit in any combination. <clears throat> so uh, these are the costs for truck and fit. We have variable costs of 764 and uh, 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 70 for feet, fixed cost per unit of 10 and 10 both uh, for the both products, then total unit cost of 74 and 80. The requirement is saying, uh, based on the above information, provide advice on an appropriate transfer price for feet from the record division to record division under the following circumstances. The first one is assume that the record division is space capacity and demand for track is limited then how would your answer advice differ if deco division was operating at full capacity and there was unsatisfied unsatisfied external demand for track okay so some basic information what we have here we have uh, deco then on the other side we have reco so uh this one we call it the supplying division the record uh, uh, for transfer pricing terminology, we call this one the supplying uh, division. Division. Then uh, this one we call it the receiving uh, division. So what is happening here is that uh, the the supplying division is supplying a product called fit to the receiving division. Okay, so whenever we have such a situation that uh, these are just divisions uh, of a company, uh, so now we have a product fit that is being supplied from Reco to um, uh, 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 from Deco to to Reco. So okay. So but uh, these these companies or these divisions are um, divisions of a single company. Okay. So whenever we have such a situation that one division is supplying the other division, but overally they are. Uh, divisions of a single company we have an issue of what we call transfer price so the question is what we really mean by that is uh, uh, what price for how much should uh, the same price that should be charged by deco when uh, supplying the product fit uh, to to reco so this one we call it the fit product we call it an intermediate product okay okay so this one will call it an intermediate product okay so for how much should deco transfer uh fit which is the intermediate product to reco okay here this one is a we have um different methods of transfer pricing but uh, I'm not going to cover all those methods today. But what I'm going to cover is uh, I, I want to respond directly to the question how you can 
uh, respond to such a question in an examination situation. Okay. So what is happening here is uh, the record department can purchase or can acquire the intermediate product at 75 uh, from the external market. So this is very important. We are told here that uh, the, the, the uh, record department can acquire the product per unit for $75. So that means if uh, the receiving department or the record uh, division can acquire this product from the external market, that means if they are going to acquire it internally from the other division, which is DECO, they cannot accept a price that is more than 75. So either the price should be less than 75 or it should be uh, equal to 75,000. So they cannot accept a price that is uh, more than um, 75. Okay. So... But let's look for the, uh, how much is it costing uh, uh, the supply department to produce this feed product. So the variable cost, we are told that the variable cost uh, is 70 and the fixed cost is uh, 10, total cost is, uh, is uh, 80. Okay, so these are the facts. Our fixed cost is 10, our variable cost is 70, and our total cost is 80. Okay, so uh, if uh, we really want to measure divisional performance, uh, we should maintain uh, uh, the division is autonomy. Okay, so in this case also, we have to, uh, whatever the division is producing, they should also uh, make uh, a, a profit on on, on, on on the supply, whether they are supplying it externally or they are supplying it internally. They also want to make a profit, isn't so that we can measure the division of performance. Okay, so so that we can measure the performance of deco, it should also make a profit. So that means they have to supply. Uh, the product at eight at more than eight dollars, of course, because the unit, the total unit cost is eight dollars. But the problem is, if they are going to supply, the first problem is one, they don't have the external market for fit. Two, they uh, uh, the record, which is the receiving department, only can accept a price that is seventy five dollars and below. So now that is the problem. The only uh, 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 customer for uh, fit uh, from Deco is Reco, but Reco cannot accept a price that is more than 75. But as you can see, the total cost of producing the intermediate product by Deco is 80. So the question is, so which price should uh, Deco transfer uh, fit, the partially finished fit, to RECO. So, of course, they cannot transfer it at $8 because RECO is not accepting uh, anything that is more than $75. Okay. So, maybe they can just say, ah, let's just uh, 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 supply uh, these guys at variable cost, maybe at $70 per unit. Or they can just say, okay, let's uh, um, supply uh the, the the partial finished fit to reco at 75 which is 70 the variable cost plus five dollars that is covering half of the fixed cost okay so in this case maybe we can say the the correct or or the recommended uh uh, uh, uh transfer price is uh is uh 75. okay but then we have variations here. Uh, another thing that uh, that can happen here, the top management or the head office can just say, no, no, Rico, even though you can buy 
this uh, this uh, this product fit from the external market, you should acquire this product from Deco at eighty dollars. It can just be a directive, but such a directive uh, uh, undermines divisional autonomy and also uh, undermines uh, the the the. Uh, we can no longer really evaluate the divisional performance if we are getting a such directive from head office. Okay. But then we are very into this question is saying, assume that deco division is space capacity. Okay, before we do that, you can see that uh, deco is not producing uh, 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 fit alone, it's also producing the product that they call track. And track is, is being sold to external market and uh, so what Deco can do, they can just say, since we do not have external market for fit and we cannot transfer it to RECO at a profit, let's just discontinue its production and only concentrate on track that we can sell the external market at, uh, at a profit. As we can see here, uh, the total cost is set for for track of which we can sell track for $84, which makes $10 uh, profit per unit. Okay, so they can just say, look, now let's discontinue the production of of of, of fit. Then we just uh, concentrate on track. But the problem here, uh, we are saying the first assumption we are assuming that deco division is space capacity, and demand for track is limited. So if we have space capacity and demand for track that product that can be sold to the external market is, is, is limited. So after producing the amounts, maybe the demand is only 10,000 for track. We do not have anything to do. Maybe this is just going to take us uh, two weeks to produce in a month. In the next two weeks, uh, to make them four weeks per month, we do not have anything to do. And maybe uh, we do have stuff that we cannot really say, please go home for these next two weeks. Then you come back for the next two weeks uh, uh, in the next month. So what we do is we can just say, okay, let's just produce it uh, and, 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 and transfer it even at below the total cost per unit. Maybe it's $70 or $75, uh, but it doesn't, because really we do not have anything to do. So let's just transfer it at below the total cost per unit uh, because we have space capacity. Okay, so if we have space capacity, like scenario number one, again, the recommended uh, uh, transfer price is still $75, which, is, which covers a uh, total uh, variable cost of 70 per unit plus a certain uh, part of the fixed cost per unit to make it 75. And also 75 is, is acceptable by the receiving department because if they, they, they really... Uh, uh, if the deco department is going to charge more than 75, these guys can just say, ah, we just go to the external market and buy the 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 the, the, the partially finished fit at $75. Okay, so that is our first requirement. Then the next assumption is how would your advice differ if deco division was operating at full capacity and there was uh, unsatisfied external uh, demand for track? Okay, so in this case, we are... We, we, still, we have, the deco is producing two products, which is track, which is, has got unlimited demand from the external market. But actually, we have limit. We don't have space capacity. So, in that case, the, our answer will be different. We would recommend deco to just stop producing fit because we cannot sell it at a profit. Then we only concentrate on track. So that we maximize, even uh, uh, if we look at the overall carbon level, uh, it will maximize our profits. Okay, so uh, in the second on the second assumption where we say, well, how would your advice differ if Deco uh, division was operating at full capacity and there was unsatisfied external demand for track? So in this case, we would recommend uh, Deco to, pro to concentrate only on producing track and discontinue uh, or let RECO department, which is the receiving department, uh, uh, let it uh, uh, acquire or purchase uh, the partially finished fit from the external market 
at $75 per unit. That will be the solution.